Good evening, everyone. Buck is on his way for his dinner. And where did he go? I just spotted him that he was coming. Come on, Buck. You want apples? Come on, big boy. Oh, I see him. He must be using the bathroom. He's right down there. All right, Buck is taking his time, but he's coming. Today I had a call him for dinner. He wasn't at the spot. It's making me wonder. I wonder if there's a doe in Buck's home that, you know, she's just not showing herself and she's probably all the way in the other side of the forest. Like, you know, not anywhere around here where I could see her. Usually if there is a doe, she will make an appearance eventually. Either my husband or my father-in-law or me, one of us will spot her. Oh my God, I think Buck is foraging right now. Buck, let's go, baby. I don't have that much time. My father-in-law is watching my son, so I always tell my father-in-law I'm, I'm only going to be 10 minutes. And Buck is forging right now. Like, really? I see the tree moving where he's eating from. Right there, that tree over there that's swinging back and forth. You want apples? Come on, Buck. You do that after, baby. I got his dinner right here. The strawberries and butternut. So hopefully he hurry up. Maybe if I shake the bucket with the corn to make him realize that there's corn in his bucket, he'll like come quicker. Let's see. I even put acorns. I threw a whole bunch of acorns in this bucket. I picked up acorns for him this evening. That's my thing now. Instead of collecting them in a bucket like I used to, I just grab them every day when I'm on my way here. <laughs> come on, mister. You want apples? You want apples? Come on. Let's go. All right. Buck is on his way. He's just deciding to take his time this evening. Ugh, and now I see him chewing. Because he was just forging. Yeah, so he's chewing on what he was forging on. For a minute, I thought that green leaf was on his head. I was like, that's funny. It looks like he has like a hair clip. But it's not. It's from the tree. All right, we just gotta wait till Buck gets here. Come on, big boy, you want apples? You want apples? Let's go. Look, Buck, you want apples? Come on. He's just taking his time. This morning he showed up late for breakfast. I ended up dumping, this morning I dumped the breakfast, the food, in his bucket. And then I came out like an hour later just to check before my husband left to go to work. I said, let me go check to see if he ate his food, which he did. And he was here at the spot, of course. So now I'm like debating if I should start feeding him at 11 a.m. instead of 9, 30, 10. Because I notice a lot of mornings, either he shows up really late or he doesn't come sometimes. So my husband's like, maybe just delay his time a little bit. But my husband's like, you don't want to teach him to eat too late because the days I got to go to work early. But I told him the days he goes to work early, I'll just dump the food in his buckets, you know? Now he's rubbing. Really? Look what he's doing now. He's rubbing his eyes. Boy, be careful. That's right by your eyes. This is not the time to do that now. I can't with him. He's too funny. The day that I want him to move a little quicker, he's taking his time. Yeah, because when my father-in-law watches my son, you know, my son, he's, uh, he's a little bundle. He's like, he's like a little pack of potatoes, like holding him. It's like a little stack of potatoes. So it's hard for my father-in-law to pick him up and hold him because my father-in-law has a bad arm. But my father-in-law is like a champ with keeping him quiet, even without holding him. But the last time my father-in-law watched him, he actually had to pick him up because my father-in-law told me that he was crying, that he felt bad. He was like, I had to pick him up. Like I was struggling a little bit to pick him up, but I did it. <laughs> I was like, aw. And of course my son was so happy. My son was like snuggled up like against him. It was so cute, but it was cute. When I walked in the house and I see that, I was like, aw. I was like, that's cute. Yeah. Everything, your buckets are full. I put ice in your water. I put ice in his water because it was pretty warm today. A little bit warm. Not too warm, but I figured it was warm enough where, you know, I didn't want his water getting too, like, warm. It wasn't hot, but I guess I'm hot for moving around a lot. Because when I'm in my house, I don't stand still, guys. I'm like a grasshopper. I literally, I'm like either cleaning, vacuuming. And today, I took out my son's walker, the baby walker, and I put him in it. 
and it was so cute he was actually making himself move like he was actually walking in it like making himself move it was the cutest thing finally you're here finally this big boy's over here eating you finally showed up buck i mean he didn't make me wait long when i called him thank god but yeah i put my son in a walker today for the first time because my brother-in-law is like, he's moving his legs when you hold him. He looks like in a walker, he would be running. <laughs> and my brother-in-law was like, put him in a walker. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I'm going to take out his walker. And he has a little Mickey Mouse walker, walker. It's so cute. And I put him in it and it was cute. My son was actually moving like forward and back. I was like, look at you, you little thing already moving your legs. So a lot of people in my family, they think, my son is going to be walking by like nine months, 10 months. I said, maybe. I said, oh God, I'm going to be in for like a crazy ride when that day comes. Because I heard when they start walking, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, that's when they're going to start climbing, touching everything. You know, you constantly got to say, no, no, like, don't touch this. Don't touch that. Don't do that. Don't go there. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I could wait for that day to come. Like, I kind of want to slow it down. I don't want him to walk just yet. But I put him in a walker today. It was cute watching him. And he was so excited when I put him in there. I guess because it was like a new toy, you know. Because the walker has like little toys in the front and things that light up. So my son, you know, he must have thought like, oh, I got a new toy. He was like screaming with excitement. It was the cutest thing. Yep. So that's the new thing of my day today. Was taking out my son's walker out of the box and hooking it up for him. So he could start, you know, moving around. Cause I have this bounce, it's like a bouncy toy, like an activity table that you put the babies in and they can stand straight. Really, you want in your bucket already? You always do this buck, he always does that. Hold on guys, let me put the rest. I'm gonna get the seeds in there too cause I know he likes the seeds. All right, come on big boy. Yeah. See, he's got acorns in here. And he actually ate the acorns that I put in this morning. He ate them, which I was happy. I was like, good. Because I literally picked, like, I grabbed them for him every day. I used to put them in a bucket, but I figure there's so many acorns on the floor. Instead of me every day grabbing them and putting them in a bucket, I just grabbed them and put them in his bucket instead of, like, storing them in a different bucket. So he gets to eat them every day. My husband said there's definitely trees in that forest where Buck lives that have acorns too. So my husband's like, babe, even though he doesn't get acorns from our side, he's definitely getting them from his side. There is trees with, with acorns on them. He was like, definitely. So Buck is definitely eating acorns, which is good. Because I heard it's very good for them, especially around this time to eat acorns. It's supposed to build like good fat into their body for the winter. So that's why I want him to like, you know, I want him to eat the acorns too, because it's like nutrients for them. It's supposed to be good for them. Buck is here for dinner. I wish I could hang out with him longer today, but I can't. I wish he would have showed up this morning, because this morning, like, you know, my husband didn't have to go to work early, where I actually could have hung out with him, you know, for like a half hour, I could have hung out with him out here. And my son was napping too, when I came out to like, you know, call for him this morning but he wasn't at the spot and I stood here for a half hour waiting for him and then that's when I gave up and I was like all right I'm just gonna put the food in this bucket and go inside and then literally I came out an hour later I told my husband I was like wait before you leave to go to work let me just go check to see if Buck ate his food my husband's like are you kidding me I was like no I'm not I'm being for real <laughs> and then when I came out was when I spotted him like just standing over there because that's when I started recording was when I spotted him I was like let me start recording I tell you, Buck has been having a mind of his own. He's been like messing up his schedule. <laughs> like last year, we were good. He was right on schedule time every day, breakfast and dinner. Now recently, I guess because he's going into a rut and like, you know, he has a mind of his own recently, but he's been messing up the schedule time, but it's all right. He still gets his food no matter what, even if he shows up or if he doesn't, I still dump the food in his buckets that I know he's gonna come up to eat it. Cause usually the squirrels, the chipmunks, the only thing they'll take from his bucket is probably the acorns, the peanuts, like things like that. They never take his apples, I've noticed. Cause I've seen it many times on the trail cam where if I would dump the food and then go check the trail cam a couple hours later, I would see chipmunks and squirrels go in the bucket, but they will grab peanuts and like acorns or the corn. 
they won't touch his apples or his other stuff. So Buck definitely gets, you know, they always leave him the good stuff. <laughs> they don't take everything. Right, big boy? He's definitely enjoying the apples right now and the strawberries and the butternut squash. That was all the good stuff. And it's a beautiful day today. It's gorgeous. The sun is shining. It feels like a fall, springish type of day. That's how I could put it. <laughs> like when you're in the sun, it's a little bit warm out where it kind of feels like spring. But when you're in the shade, it feels like fall. It's like that. That's how I could explain my weather <laughs> today. I cleaned out the trail cam. I'm so upset. The trail cam did not catch when he jumped the other day. Didn't catch it because it didn't record. It stopped recording because the camera was full. It was like really, really full. I saved one video of Buck the other night when he came up to eat probably or drink because there was probably nothing in his bucket because he eats all his dinner on dinner time. I got to post that trail cam footage. But I did clean it out where, you know, this week, if he does that again, we'll definitely get it. Cause that trail cam saves up to like 200 videos or 150 something like that of videos and pictures but i have it set up just to record videos no pictures so every time like right now it's probably recording him eden and probably recording me too because it could get all up here and it could get him i have a face in that it gets literally all the surrounded here so the next time he does something like that, I should be able to catch it on trail cam. I was so upset that I didn't get it on the trail cam. I was like, damn it. That would have been such a cool video of seeing him jump from here. Because I'd never seen him jump from here, you know? It was my first time yesterday, like, seeing him jump exactly from this spot. My husband was like, babe, that's like a small leap. Like, that's like a nothing. Like, you know, he could just jump. Like, that's like a small jump. You know, for us, yeah, it's a big jump. For him, it's a little jump. I was like, no, I know. So I've just never seen him do it, it, doing it from this side, you know, like over here. He usually does it all the way down there. But Buck is looking good. He's looking really, really good. What happened, big boy? Did you eat everything? Look, he left strawberries. He left strawberries and acorns. I'm sure he'll eat it now. I'm going to close up this video when it gets up to 13 minutes, then I'm going to go inside because, you know, I don't want to, I want to keep my word, you know, when I tell my in-laws or whoever watches my son, if I tell you guys, like if I tell them, oh, I'm going to be 10 minutes, I want to be 10 minutes, you know, if I tell them, oh, I'm going to be 15 minutes, I want to be exactly 15 minutes, you know, I don't want to be like a little bit over the time where it's like I'm not keeping my word of how long I'm out here, even though I'm not far from the house, I'm only a few feet away, but... And I know my son is fine. He's good. The only thing is, my son sometimes when he wakes up from his nap, he wants to be held. And, you know, my father-in-law, it's hard for him because he has a bad arm where my son, he's stocky. He's a solid boy. So when you hold him for a little bit, your arms start hurting. So imagine somebody that has, like, you know, a bad arm. It's going to be hard for them. But I'm going to get going, everyone. I hope everyone has a great evening and a good night. And me and this big boy, we will be back hopefully tomorrow morning. Let's see what Buck does tomorrow morning. I think I'm going to come out a little later to feed him. I'm not going to come out till like 10, 30, 11. Because I'm starting to think it's pointless for me to come out here at 9, 9, 30. And he always has me waiting like a half hour. And sometimes he doesn't show up. So I'm going to start coming out just a little later to feed him. I think that's the best. Maybe so I can always catch him here waiting, you know? Instead of me calling him and having to wait for him, I'll make him wait for me. But I will be back tomorrow, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. And me and this big boy, we will be back. Buck, you gonna say bye? Come here. Come here, my big boy. Come here, let's say bye to everybody. Yeah, you gotta say bye to everybody. Yeah, my big boy. And look, you got strawberries. You don't want strawberry? No? All right, I guess he doesn't want the strawberry. All right, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Ciao for now.